Welcome back. This is M Dog. Hope you are doing well. Happy New Year's. It's 2022. And uh, start the New Year off right. I know it's like a week after New Year's, right? But it's been busy around. Uh, it's been busy around here. So thankful that I can get back to doing some fishing. My hope is to be able to both continue our leveling guide. 2021 into 2022 leveling guide and uh, also try to do a few more of these hot spot checks i know folks have been requesting that i get back to doing some of this and i do really want to uh, by the way thank you for all of the recent support um just the channel's been doing really good lately and uh it's, it's all you guys y'all are the best i just really appreciate it so um we are here at Amber, though, for this video here tonight. And uh, as you can see, we're fishing with some baits that, um, well, I don't normally fish with. In fact, I had zero of these baits. I'm not sure I've ever used lemon boilies before. Uh, but right now, what we have on the line is lemon 18 pop-up boilies, natural craft... Um, uh, <laughs> Hold on, it'll come to me. Artificial corn, citrus acid dip, and then this is the PVA we're using. So I stole this straight off of VK. <laughs> um, it actually looks like coconut might be the way to go here. Uh, if you look at sort of across the board what's been working for different people. But it does look like lemon is working some. You got a chance at some really big carp, it looks like, on these lemon baits. However, I'm not sure about the consistency. Uh, we might be better off going with cocoa, um, some sort of cocoa, either pop-up or whatever, if, uh, if we want to have a better bite rate. I don't know. We've just started. I'm just skeptical about this lemon stuff. But anyway, we're here at 85,147. And we're casting, I think it was 35 meters out. And if you saw, I cast like sort of at that tree, just right of that tree, kind of over there in that general direction. Um, so we'll see. If it doesn't, you know, if we don't start getting some action, then uh, I may switch up to Coco just like see if that's better. So we'll see. I just wanted to fish for some carp and um, sort of ease back into some of these videos that... Um, are more for higher level players in terms of some of the well a range of spots across all the different water bodies thought we'd start with amber obviously there's a lot more i think that i would like to do at the new place but that involves trolling and i got to be in a certain mood to troll i guess it doesn't have to involve trolling but it seems like that's mostly what people are doing at the um uh at the new place so Uh, but we'll see. Let's give these lemons a, a couple minutes here. And if carp start coming in, great. If they don't, then yeah, we'll switch it up. And Nothing wrong with having a slow fishing session. It's going to happen sometimes. I don't know why I'm so skeptical, but I really am. I just like, you know, it was, it was like early morning, 2, 3 a.m., threw the rods in, went and got my coffee, came back, hit record, and then I was like, They've been in the water a few minutes now and no bites. And then thankfully that first bite came in just as I was getting started. So that's good. But this may be more of like a patient bait. I don't know. Then again, it might have been because it was overnight, right? Like if it's mostly commons, I mean, it just depends on what's biting. I feel like normally if you're looking for carp in the middle of the night, you got to be on like a pretty good mirror carp. Um... Uh, mirror carp spot or carp fishing can be pretty slow at night at times so we'll see how it goes but yeah a lot going on I've got a lot bouncing around my head right now in terms of YouTube um, and I'll verbally process with you this right now some of this will not interest some of you this will interest none at all I hope that some of you it may interest a little bit because it'd be nice to <laughs> drag a few people over to this new idea. But um, so I want to, you know, when I'm thinking about this next year, 
I want to continue to develop this channel that primarily I fit feature um, Russian Fishing 4, right? I'd like to do a little bit of Fisher Online. I've actually had some fun in Fisher Online lately, so I wouldn't mind integrating that a little bit. I've also had a little bit of fun in Hunter Call of the Wild, although uh, I don't ever really know... I don't feel like I play that game enough to add a whole lot of, like, expertise to that. It, it, there's people that know so much more about that game, and especially, I used to play Hunter Classic a lot, but even when I played Hunter Classic, I just basically learned from other people. I didn't have a whole lot to add to the conversation. <laughs> I just, you know... Um, but I can see just for fun, maybe trying to do a few Hunter Call of the Wild videos. Kind of depends on what's going on, what's coming out, new maps, that kind of stuff. But the other idea I've had, and this is, you know, no promises here, but I have really been thinking a lot about creating a second YouTube channel and only doing board game content on that channel. So it would be a very different channel than, than what I do here. And it would, it, in fact, it would be recorded in an entirely different room. We, my fan, we have a, a little game room, quote unquote, set up where we've got our board games, where we play board games. And I love talking about board games. I love playing board games. I really enjoy like helping people figure out, you know, which, which board games might be fun for them. And so I've just thought like, man, what, <clears throat> and my kids have expressed interest in, you know, maybe being a part of that somehow, which I still haven't figured out what that might look like. But um, yeah, so I don't know, just, just, just to put that little teaser out there, no, no guarantees, you know, I don't know if something's going to come of that or not, but it's certainly something I'm playing with uh, the idea, at least in my mind so far. Um, I've thought about, you know, because when you think about doing something like that, it, that sort of requires different equipment than what I'm doing right now with you all in terms of the Russian Fishing 4 content. Um, and though there may be some overlap in audience, it's mostly probably a totally different audience as well. But I've tried to figure out, like, at least to start off with, could I use my iPhone? I mean, these days iPhones have really good cameras on them you know, even for video, I still would need to capture audio, you know, uh, potentially a different way. And, and that would somewhat depend on how many people were involved in the recording versus just me. Um, but I've tried to figure out, is there a way I could ease into that, even just to see what that process would be like? Cause that would be a lot more involved process than when I sit down with you guys doing RF4 and I've got a cup of coffee and I'm, you know, sitting here fishing and we're talking about, you know, everything that's right here on the screen and I'm right here with you. It's pretty different when you start thinking about, um, you know, a different space and all that. So, okay, this is picking up a little bit. I still wouldn't say that, you know, catching two fish and however long isn't like on fire, obviously, but both fish have been like reasonably good size fish. This one is even better, it seems like. So, I don't know. Maybe we're onto something. Again, I think it might be interesting to do a second attempt with the cocoa stuff. So, anyway, just to wrap up my other thought, uh, we'll see if anything comes of that. I've thought about going through a trial run, you know, just doing one video from start to finish. Uh, I'd have to edit, you know, at least, you know, in a very different way than what I've ever done on, on video game content. So, just to see what that process would be like. Um, and then kind of make a decision from there potentially, but something I've been toying with, something I've been playing around with. Um, but either way, oh, that one looked like it had a little bit of color to it. What is this? Might have just gotten a weird view of it for a second, but oh, it's 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 nothing fancy, nothing fancy here. It looks like a leather, doesn't it? I don't see any of the telltale signs that it's a mirror. I think it... Oh, I forget all the different different carp that are here. This isn't leather or mirror. This is Oh, it is mirror. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Out at pra I'm out of practice at uh, carp spotting. So that was mirror. Yeah, I just did not see the the markings there at first. 
Yeah, but that's a pretty decent mirror. I was thinking it was a uh, it was a linear, but linear has the marks straight down. It's mirrors that have the some marks, but not consistent. And then of course leather is completely smooth. So anyhow, so okay, nine minutes, three fish, but reasonably sized carp. So again, I feel like with this bait setup, with this approach, which I'll show that one more time before we wrap it up, but. Um, we're certainly not getting a bunch of small stuff, right? I mean, it's, it's promising in that effect. It's just a little slow. Seems like a little, a little slow. Uh, I would be curious about the cocoa. If cocoa would increase the bite rate, maybe just a little bit. You don't need a much bigger, better bite rate, but a little bit better would be nice. Are these cocoa? Look at these big boilies or people are using, by the way. Um, so my guess is folks are, I mean, that's got to be the slowest bite rate ever, right? But you have a chance of catching a really huge carp. So like you're doing something else. Oh yeah. Lemon is showing up with fresh lime. Okay. So that's a little different approach. It looks like lemon showing up on a good bit. How many days ago was this though? This is two days ago. This was today. Oh man, all the carp are liking the lemon. So I kind of did a shot in the dark there looking at all the different reports on VK. Okay, now leather is preferring the cocoa. Looks like lemon was a decent shot in the dark. Uh, but again, okay, there's citrus. Wait, do I have citrus flavor corn? I don't think that is the... Um, all right, let's run to the store real quick. I'm not sure that's the corn that I'm using. And that could make a difference. That could make a difference. So I'm gonna, we're gonna extend the time of this video a little bit because I'm gonna go get some citrus corn. I think I threw natural corn on there, not even realizing that there was citrus corn. So that's my fault, my mistake. The other thing I might do is buy a few more of those Christmas time um, carp related items before the fair is gone. We don't have a whole lot of time left on the fair, right? So we've got these, we've got these boilies. It does get expensive buying stuff like this. If you, I mean, normally I would tell you don't get boilies if you're not, you know, using them right then. But the fact is you just can't, oh, we've got plenty of that. We've got plenty of that. You just can't uh, get those most of the year. All right, so we want to go to citrus. Yes. So that's my fault. That really may make a difference, folks. That might make a difference. I should have looked at the weekly list and thought more you know, I just, because of the color of the package is the same, I was just, like, I knew there wasn't, like, a lemon or a lime corn. I didn't think about it just being straight citrus. Yeah, this actually could make a big difference, though, because right now we may have, our artificial corn might be working against us. It may not be, but it could be. So let's switch these out real quick and just see over the next few minutes if we get any kind of like better activity. Let me see, is there any kind of bite going on? It doesn't look like there is. So let's switch this out. I'm also gonna spread the where I'm throwing these just a little bit. All right. 
that looks almost the same. So this one I'm going to aim at least slightly left of the tree. It looks like it went straight at the tree. And then this one will aim maybe just slightly to the right. And the third one, let's put a little more drastically to the right of the tree. Just get a little bit wider perspective. Hmm. We're really, um, we're going wide right on these tosses. Which, we'll see how this works. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely thinking it would have been interesting, I think, to have that first one, maybe even more like right at peg one. You know, that used to be, I, I've, I've definitely fished from this spot more often kind of casting at peg one. So a little different going that much farther right, but still in the same, I mean, it's the same area, right? On the other hand, the difference in citrus corn and natural corn might be almost nil. It might just be a slight difference. I'm acting like it could be dramatic. And while it could be dramatic, it does, won't necessarily be dramatic. This, you know, It may just be that using lemon boilies in this spot might catch you pretty decent fish, but it might be pretty slow. Which, you know, if you're sitting there watching watching a, a YouTube video on your other monitor or something, just kind of waiting for the big fish, trying to get that trophy. You know, you don't really care. But if you're really focused and wanting to have a good bite rate, this might not be the approach. So often I find that if Coco's working, Coco is often a really good bite rate. So uh, one last time, we're 35 meters. We're over here around 840, 85, 147. And these are the baits we're using 18 lemon boilies citrus flavor corn uh, citrus acid dip and then this is the pva it does have 14 size boilies crushed up as the fourth additive because there's only three citron sweet pellet types right and then you've got corn flour and then citrus mix on the um, as the attractant. And I wasn't necessarily going to go this long or too much longer, but I do want to give it a couple minutes now that we've switched baits just to see at least the next fish we catch if we can. We're getting into that time of the day where it's going to naturally slow down anyway. I mean, that's the thing. To start this video off, we were fishing in the best carp fishing time, or at least one of them, and we only had, what, three fish? So that's really slow. Yeah, but I'd like to get out there and try, try some more experimentation with um, trolling some different areas at that new water body see how things are or if things are picking up a little bit now that there's been some time to settle after all those updates and everything we had
still very slow, isn't it? think we're getting a nibble on that third rod unless it's just the wind doing that just looks like a lot of activity for that to be the breeze right let's just try to catch one more fish we at least got to catch four fish in this video oh my goodness we're coming back with a whisper aren't we Somebody in chat, in our in-game chat, which is my dogs, MY space, D-A-W-G-S, if you're looking for a community in this game. But someone just mentioned if players don't have a Tagara and don't want to save for a Tagara, you should consider the Overlord, which is only available during the Christmas fair. That's an interesting take. I haven't used the Overlord, but I hear so many people singing its praises. I mean, I especially think if you're focused on carp fishing, it's a no-brainer. Um, but some people, I think, even use it for, like, sturgeon and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. All right, this is too slow. Too slow. Okay, now I want to know what... Um, Now I want to know what it would be like with Coco, but I'm certainly not going to try Coco in this video because then we may just have another really long, boring time. I can't believe we're going to have three fish caught in this video, but don't you worry. I'm posting this video. The question is, will I put something in the title <laughs> to warn you that only three fish were caught in this entire 26 minute video? Three fish. <laughs> Ugh. If this wasn't my first video in a while, normally what I would do, just I would just scrap it. Because, I mean, it's boring. You know what I mean? It's starting to rain. Maybe that'll stir up the carp real quick. Don't know if that's even a thing, but...
<sighs> Putting the citrus corn has only made it worse. Right? I think that was just the breeze on that third one. Maybe it was the only one that wasn't tight. I hope this isn't foreshadowing to the next leveling video, by the way. I'm so out of the loop from this past like week and a half of just kind of, you know, I've just been hanging out with family mostly over the holidays. I had to work some, but we've just a lot of family time. It's been great, but I'm very disconnected. So I don't know. Let me see if I can open up Discord and see what the folks have said. Uh, if there's been any interesting things posted in our Discord. We've got quite a few lower level players, so they may have some reports on how things have been going. I, it's like, to be honest with you right now, I'm just curious how long it will take to get another fish. Which, you know, I should have cut my losses a long time ago, especially if I'm really going to post this, but, you know. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's look under fishing spots and info. Catfish? Lots of catfish talk today. Interesting. Blue bream. Oh, I should have read this earlier. People are talking about how slow this spot is. I guess a lot of, or some folks have been trying to catch trophy carp here, but it's been slow. Okay, that's interesting. Some blue bream being called at Volkov. That's always fun. I know that there have been some good white bream at, uh, at Bear. I did see somebody talking about that. So uh, the other spot people are talking about on, on Amber, by the way, is 120. The 120 spot, which again is on this side of the lake. It seems like the action's on this side right now. Oh, are we finally getting our fourth fish? Is it happening? Ooh, yeah. 
Yeah, notice the time of day though. Like we went through the entire hot part of the day, no fish. And this one's a little smaller, I think. We'll see though. By the way, uh, as for an old tradition that I'm almost certain is gonna happen in a spot like this, as soon as I turn the recording off, that's when a trophy will come in. Hey, it's a frame sided though. Good to see some, some variety. Let's throw that back in. So that 120, 155 spot, I don't, I can't remember where it is. I'd have to be over there looking at it, but it's somewhere, somewhere up there. Oh yeah, now the bites are starting to come in. We just had to be patient. I, I think just that, that middle part of the day, if I could go back and um, have the right, uh, right corn on the citrus corn in the morning, and also in the evening, like late afternoon, early evening. You know, it might be decent. Uh, we've just, we just, I messed it up, I think. Either way, I think it's slow, but it's, I don't think it would be this slow. I think we've, I've made it slower than it needed to be, to be honest. That looks like a frame sided as well. So the frame sided have suddenly showed up. Just kind of cool. We've already got another fish on rod one. Stuff's like picking up all of a sudden. Ish. Oh, this is small. Yeah, you almost want this to be like a bream or something. Goodness, this is tiny. I mean, it'll still be a marker, but it is a small, like, three kilo, three and a half kilo common, right? Might be four. Nah, it's right at three. Right at three. There's a lot of spots I'd like to try. We'll see how my energy goes tonight. I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is go make a leveling guide, a leveling episode. I just haven't done one in a while. We need to keep that series going. I don't know where to fish. I haven't found any info from anyone. So uh, we'll just, you know, make it up as we go. But let's see if I can find myself. What did I call it? RF4 M Dog Gaming, I think. What level are we? Level 12. So we can go to Old Berg. If I can find a bream, find out about a bream spot. I think I want to keep staying at Mosquito and Winding, though, until we at least have one more um, feeder rod set up. An upgraded feeder rod. Mmm. I did want to try Belaya, though. Maybe that's what we'll do. I mean, there's no, I have no sense that Bly is any good at all, but we could, hopefully we'll stumble into at least a couple of chub or grayling or something. At least go try it, right? Can always catch a few roach on the backside and test out a couple spots. See if so maybe that's what we'll do during the leveling guide tonight. Just since I don't really know spots, I've been to it way too long, kind of have to ease back into it. I need to wrap this one up though, but like I said, maybe we'll go try something creative like, um, you know, white bream at bear. That looks really fun. Uh, trolling the new spot. See if we can't get some content going for you guys. I want to try to be more consistent, um, especially when I have days off like today and tomorrow. Just get a couple of videos per day out, even if I schedule them to release over the next two or three days, which is probably what you'll see. This one will come out tonight. Leveling guide will probably come out first thing in the morning and then maybe drop those, you know, if I can get to it in a couple more tonight, then I'll schedule them for days that I'm working. So it seems like the channel's producing pretty consistent content. I just don't want to push stuff more than a day or two because honestly, spots can change that quickly. If it's a hot spot, if 
we actually stumble upon a hot spot, I usually try to get those out as quickly as possible. So, all right, I'm going to, we're going to kind of hang out here till, I don't know, another like maybe two, three, four minutes. See if we can't get one more out. I mean, we did get up to, you know, a full panel of carp. I mean, woo. Full plant, full panel plus. Oof. Two at a time? Man, that was a quick bite. That first one's still nibbling. This one's already ready to go. Just wants to come in. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> I don't know what we left our drag yet, but that one will be a little bit bigger. Let's 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 rush this one. Even if we screw it up, we um, I guarantee you that one on the first rod is at least bigger than this one is. Unless I dropped that drag back down to like 14 or something. This is a common. Looks like a reasonable common here. Ooh, that carp on the first rod is not happy about being hooked on. Look how much it is swimming everywhere. I'm glad we caught that one. It's a nice little common. That helps. All right, yeah, a little bit better, a little bit bigger. All right, we're catching a couple fish for you guys. If you've hang in, if you've hung in here this long, um, you know, let me know what your favorite color is in chat. And uh, and grats to you for hanging out this long. Man, you are a trooper. Um, when I do my top ten list of. Um, RF4 videos, this will be in the top 10 least exciting, at least if the metrics is we're judging it by number of fish call. Very nice. Still on happy hour somehow. I feel like I've been here for three hours, but I guess we haven't if that's still counting as happy hour. It's 39 minutes. I don't know about that. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to be turning my back on you. I'm, <laughs> I'm like I'm talking about multitasking. I'm like, okay, what what can I do to clean up what's behind me? Uh, there's a bunch of stuff back there. It's just junk. I mean, the stuff I don't, you know. It's time to freshen up some of the stuff on that shelf and random, random this and that. <laughs> All right, 2100. If there's not a fish owned by 2100. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I meant to say 2200. If we don't have a fish, we're going to wrap it up at 2200 if we're not in the middle of bringing a fish in. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. <laughs> I read the numbers wrong. I was like, uh. I think it's like on there it just yeah so you know to be honest it seems like we're having a better bite rate casting at, at peg one 
which it doesn't look like that's what most folks have been doing on VK if I'm reading their reports correctly, but again, traditionally, that's where I've cast that direction more, and it does seem like that's working. It's another mirror, I think. It seems like that's working a little better. So, I don't know. You know, I mean, we're making a little silver. It's it's not it's not terrible. It's just it's a little slow, but it's not terrible. And I mean, how long has it been since we've had a fish on this middle rod? And in this kind of situation, maybe we should have just recast the middle line. I mean, we've literally been going back and forth between the first and third rod, identical setups. But for whatever reason, we can't buy a fish on the middle rod. You know, especially since about 1800, if we had been catching fish, fish on the middle rod as like in the same speed of the first, three, first and third rod, this spot would seem like it's suddenly on fire. We'd have been constant, you know, but that's just not been the case. It's getting dark. And it's almost 2200. All right. Let's wrap it up. Thank you guys for hanging in here with me. Uh, I, again, I just really appreciate all the support. I often have the thought and the, the feels of I don't deserve it, but I really appreciate it. You are the best. And um, I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Maybe our next hot spot will be at least a little warmer than this one. Um, but as always, tight lines, everyone. Happy 2022, uh, and, and I hope to see you again very soon. All right, next time.